Today is the third day of Flips 2021. It is Friday. It's going to be the second day that I'm going. It's now a little after 11 a.m. and it is packed here. So packed that I even had a park outside of the normal parking lot, but still pretty sweet parking location if I do say so. Check out that view right there. That's where we're heading next. Be sure to let me know you're enjoying this video by smashing that like button. And of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Come along on other adventures here on Fat 1010. So my plan of action today is to look around the Pier 66 Marina, which I never did, and then to go head across to the Convention Center, check that out. That was closed last year because they're doing a whole major remodeling on it. And then from there, I'd like to get on a water taxi and head to the north part of the show this time. And uh, I'm assuming that's where Denison is again. Maybe uh, hop on one of those boats. And just to know over here at the Super Yacht Village, they also have some valet parking. Generally coming down the 17th Street Causeway, it's less traffic-y, like even if you were to park at the convention center, it's much less traffic than if you try to go to the north side of the boat show. If you're going via Las Olas, just beware. It gets really crazy with traffic. I was just asking at the information booth about the boat show continuing over on the Pier 66 on the north side of the 17th Street Causeway, but this year it is not part of the boat show. I was told that if you take a shuttle bus from Super Yacht Village and trying to get to the convention center, you're going to first have to go all the way to the main show by the Bahiamar and then get on another shuttle bus to get over to the convention center. Whereas you can take the water taxi directly across the intercoastal to the convention center. Like we're going to be there in just like a minute. Another thing also to know, uh, anybody that is wheelchair bound, yeah. there are some water taxis that can handle that and the only dock so that will be able to accommodate a wheelchair would be the convention center dock and then the main boat show dock by Bahia Mar. You'd only be able to travel between those two. Also in previous years, the Hilton Marina was part of the boat show this year. That is not as well. So right now we're heading into the convention center section. Uh, pretty long lines here though for the water taxi. So it's possible perhaps I might take a shuttle bus and said we'll see. But remember that doing the water taxi is an extra fee. Shuttle bus service is free to all guests of FLIBS 2021. There is quite a bit of walk though from the water taxi to get into the convention center. I'm gonna just lift you guys up so you can take a peek. Yeah, they're not finished yet with their construction, but they did do away with that beautiful water fountain that they had. So yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be faster to take a shuttle bus from here to the main show. And maybe we'll do a water taxi so we can see all the boats from the front. We're gonna do that. Okay, that's the plan. So the entrance is over here. Yeah, let's take a peek over this side. Yeah, to see what this looked like in the past, check out my video from 2019. And tell me what you think. You'll see the thumbnail has the water fountain in the front. Rather than like a food stand or like a restaurant, it's kind of like a grab and go deli. First time I've seen this done here. Salads and bagels with fruit, some sandwiches. <laughs> now let's check out Nortec. Yeah. 
Nortec is also selling some merchandise commemorating their 30th anniversary. I like that one with the kind of Miami Vice 80s retro look to it. Yeah, they have a lot of other merchandise too to commemorate their anniversary. Be sure to check out my video on a sea trial on one of these bad boys behind me. We went up to uh, 77 miles per hour, so I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a card right up now. Take a look at this Axopar. It was sold. I'm seeing some windows right here. That's interesting. Now this goes down into here. This is interesting. We enter into the head and then huh, through this door come to the living quarters over here. And these are those skylights that we were looking down through before. And going back into the head, let me see what is behind this door. Okay, so there's a shower here as well. You would have to sit down though for the showering. See, yeah, it's not that, that high. Okay, so this, the head, the toilet could actually be kept closed this way, or you can leave that open and then close the living quarters. And here's the sink right on the side. I forgot to show that. 
I just wanted to show this feature also. It's got sliding glass doors, as you can see. Right there. Another detail I missed, a fridge right here. So this boat we just looked at is So cool, they used to have this outside. This was one of the things they had outside, so now they brought it inside the convention center. Okay, the shuttle bus service is right that way. All right, so I was just asking because I didn't go around the whole portion of the main show the other day, and they're informing me that this is the only aqua zone, so not the outdoor part over by the Bahia Mar where last year we saw Chris and Sawyer and all that cool stuff going really fast. But still some pretty cool gadgets to see. It's still fun to see a demonstration in the water, so let's take a closer look. I'll be sure to put a link in the description for you to be able to see Kristen Smoyer on that flyboard. It's really amazing. <laughs> kind of like a scooter version, you know, like where you take a, a skateboard, you put the handlebars on it. Or, in this case, you're taking a surfboard and putting the handlebars on it. This is pretty cool to go paddle boarding in places like uh, where there's coral reefs and all that. Be able to see everything underneath. They also have some of these to rent here in Fort Lauderdale. I'll have to try that one day. Look at this thing. It's really weird. There's another hydrofoil. 9,000. 
And this one is actually using pedals. That's so weird. I cannot picture you being able to get enough speed by pedaling something for a hydrofoil to count, but apparently so. There's a bigger assortment than they usually have. Some very interesting things I haven't seen before here at Nautical Ventures. This one is seven thousand four hundred ninety-five dollars. Oh, this is funny. They actually have pole dancing on that. A little bit of exotica on the water. So this is a way to exit to the shuttle buses, but not a way to enter. So I'll have to see how that all works out. Because we entered on the complete opposite side of this building. So I was just checking my channel, I confirmed I did cover both of these boats, actually at the 2020 Miami International Boat Show. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can just click that and see these boats fully. Windy is a Scandinavian company, to be more specific, Swedish, and this is their US debut right here at Flibs 2021. And then here's one of the smaller entries from Windy. So let's take a look aboard the SR28CC. Here's a look at some of those seminars. And we'll probably be going back there this year. Uh, stay tuned for the Winterfest Boat Parade. There's also parties leading up to it. Are you local? 
Okay. So we have some art as well. They're all on metal, as you can see. Beautiful, really like glows. That's interesting. Is this where the seminar is? So there's Flanagan's everywhere. And these waves are about 40 to 50 foot face heights right here. It has, to, it has to go out and over these waves. So that's him going out over this wave. That's about a 50 foot boat going over about a 50 foot wave. Yeah, in 2019 they had it in the actual like smaller um, conference rooms here at the convention center. Hello. So I just bumped into Manny here. If you're a fan of Jackass like I am, you definitely recognize him. So I'm going to let him explain what he's up to now. I'm here at the boat show. I got my artwork here. I got a seminar later on at 4 o'clock and later on this uh, weekend. I'll be talking about all kinds of good stuff there. And I'm just playing my artwork and uh, come by and get check it out, get some of it. Come and by, we'll have a good time. And you're still based here in Florida, correct? South Florida? Um, I'm here in South Florida. You can check me up on uh, Instagram, Manny Puig. But uh, yeah, I'm in Fort Lauderdale area. And I custom make for you whatever you want to you want made. And they can get in touch with you via Instagram if they want. They can get in touch with Instagram anytime they want. Really awesome to see you here. All right, thank you. Definitely, come by. Here's a look at Manny's work. Mira, te voy a comprar uno en blanco. Tienen en blanco, no tienen. Tengo más. Hey, I'm John Lowe's, uh, uh, VP and founder of Clean Waterways. Uh, we're here at the boat show to educate and show people about a new technology we have using protein skimmers and different foam fractionation that cleans pollution out of the water through microbiology. Uh, we don't use any chemicals, we use strictly physics. Uh, we basically inject billions of bubbles into a chamber. Uh, the bubbles are polar and the pollutants are non-polar. So they stick together and form a foam, and it's almost like a sea foam. That sea foam flows over the top, it connects, it binds to each other, and then we get a concentrated 1,000x concentration of coliforms, uh, bacterias, blue-green algae, sandal bacteria, just basically all the horrible stuff that's going on in the waterways. So we got a, had a first pilot project with the city of Fort Lauderdale and Hibbershie Canal. 
which was extremely successful. We pulled out thousands and thousands of gallons of concentrated waste. Uh, and we plan on taking this, uh, this science and this technology all over the world uh, to help save the inland waterways. Uh, we have infrastructure failing all over Florida, all over the country. And unless we get ahead of it and start to clean the inland waterways, uh, we're gonna see things like the Biscayne Bay fish kill and the Tampa Bay fish kill. So oxygenating the water, pulling out the waste uh, is our goal and our objective. Uh, we're not looking for money from anybody. Uh, this is a privately funded company. Uh, we work with the government on contracts and uh, they've, been very, uh, they've been very helpful in doing it. And uh, we see both parties really want to tackle this issue of clean waterway. And uh, by saving the inland waterway and the estuaries, we then save the reefs because the ocean has become our toilet where uh, what gets dumped in the inland waterways gets dumped onto the reefs. And then that starts to, to bleach the reefs and starts to kill the reefs. So um, it's a very critical thing we're doing. And uh, we're looking for grassroots support here, really, and to educate the public about uh, what's going on and the critical need we have to save our inland waterways and save our estuaries. We're just watching a whole demonstration here, seeing how it's really amazing. So, guys, just to kind of like simplify the concept, imagine a water filter like you might use for your aquarium on a very giant scale where you're actually able to clean environmental waters like waterways and so forth. They've spent months out there and actually cleaned the water. Way. Absolutely amazing, wonderful thing. So this is kind of showing it on a small scale to show what's going on. And then this is the actual machine right here. Hey guys, my name is Richard. I am the director of product for a company called Clean Waterways. Basically our company is made to clean water and a small tight like a Areas that doesn't have a lot of tides to come in to flush the water. And small waterways like Canal Way and et cetera, and smaller like uh, beach areas and such that it's heavily polluted. So basically we have uh, already covered with John on the big fractionation machine that we call protein skimmers. These uh, here is something that I developed. And this one is actually a portable leave behind unit, which is a miniature version of protein skimmers. So we have over here, this everything is self-powered, self-sustained running by solar power. It has a two 200 watt uh, solar panels on top, which will continue to power the device 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is also connected by uh, each marine cycle batteries inside. So even with the you know, thunder days and stuff like that, we still get about three full days of continued power through this. Uh, this unit will contain about roughly about 60 to 70 gallons of waste, which will go dump out every, you know, like every time it gets full. This is a brain unit, so it has many different computers stuff built into it. It detects the pH, it tests for pH, uh, salinity, as well as the uh, ORP, and as well as oxygen every 10 minutes. So it gives a real life data of how that water is doing and how it is affecting, you know, by creating foam, how much oxygen level is, is it affecting positively. And uh, it would just give us a whole bunch of uh, idea to how to address the pollution issues in a real time. I did a video of one of their boats, 2019 show. Be sure to check that out. It was the one with the huge uh, windshield around the front of it. And then there's some of the official merchandise available right here.
love the theming of this. Anytime the weather is too hot or it's raining, and it's one of those rainy days, always keep the convention center in mind as a go-to place. So here's an overall map of everything. So we started off right here at the Super Yacht Village, and we took the water taxi across to the convention center. So these are the two secondary sites to the main show. And then this is the main portion of the boat show. Oh, they're over at And that Mar extends and right up to Las Olas this year. Okay, let's go head on to the shuttle bus. See how that all works out.